Hello and welcome to traders and investors. I'm glad to present to you the daily market review prepared by analysts and experts from FX.co portal. Here we go. Today is the 4th of July and we're starting from Euro dollar pair with Jakub Novak as usual. Euro halted its decline yesterday after the US reported weak data on manufacturing activity. As for today, markets will be closed in the afternoon due to the Independence Day celebrations in the US. Trading activity will also be limited. For long positions, Buy euro when the quote reached 1.0915 and take profit at the price of 1.0939. However, do not expect the bear to exceed the channel today. When buying, traders should make sure that the MACD line is above zero or is starting to rise from it. Euro can also be bought after two consecutive price tests of 1.0888. But the MACD line should be in an oversold area this time, as only by that will the market reverse to 1.0915 and 1.0939. For short positions, sell your row when the quote reached 1.0888 and take profit at the price of 1.0861. Pressure not be very serious today. When selling, traders should make sure that the MACD line is below zero or is starting to move down from it. Euro can also be sold after two consecutive price tests of 1.0915. But the MACD line should be in the overbought area this time. As only by that will the market reverse to 1.0888 and 1.0861. The next stage of our review is the next major, GBP-USD, presented by Sebastian Seliga. The GBP-USD pair has been rejected from the intraday technical resistance located at 1.2726, and in the short term the bulls are under pressure. The pair has been trading in the narrow zone located between the levels of 1.2660 and 1.2726. The immediate technical support is seen at the level of 1.2659, 200 EMA. But the key technical support is seen at 1.2590. Please notice the momentum is back onto the level of 50, so there is a confirmation of the bearish pressure on the lower time frame charts. Only a sustained breakout about the technical resistance would change the outlook to more bullish. What about crude oil commodity asset? We've got a mid-term trading plan by area of Mockmore. On the 4-hour chart crude oil commodity asset, there is a CCI indicator which manages to break upside for three levels, minus 100, 0 and 100 which means CL on its 4-hour chart has a significant strengthening momentum, which is currently being corrected slightly to gather its momentum again before strengthening again, especially if the CCI indicator does not penetrate the zero and minus 100 levels again. Then, CL has the potential to strengthening and will test the bearish order block level 72.07 as the main target 
and 72.63 as the target both as long as there are no significant weakening corrective movement. Especially if it breaks to break below the level of 67.42, because if this level is successfully broken down, then it's very likely that the strengthening scenario described earlier will become invalid and automatically cancel itself. And finally, here's Laurie Bailey with USD GBY pair focused. Let's have a look. On USD GBY pair, the price has not been able to rise above the resistance level of 144.73 for the fourth session. The Marlin Oscillator has grown tired of waiting and has essentially formed a full reversal divergence with the price. A corrective decline to the nearest price channel 142.65 is possible. An attempt to overcome this can push the price to hit the 142.30. If, by any chance, the price consolidates above 144.73, then the price can overcome the 145.68 level. And it will continue to rise towards the strategic target of 147.40. On the 4-hour chart, the price still maintains a bullish bias, but it gets weaker with every candlestick. Because if the consolidation continues, the price will end up below the MACD line, blue line on graphic. The modern oscillator on H4 timeframe chart is already in the red. We await further developments. That's all for today. See you online soon. Good luck.